Hello everybody. There are many different games we can play with water balloons. All you need just water and balloons. I'm going to use manual water pump to fill up balloons with water. Here's an example of a regular water balloon. Usually the water balloons come in different colors. It is probably the smallest sized balloon. It has very thin walls. It makes much easier to pop water balloons. Which is the purpose of the game. Here I fill up the balloon with water, making it about half size of the balloon, maybe two thirds. As a balloon twister I use different kind of balloons. In this example I'm going to use 5 inch round balloons. They usually come in back of 100 balloons. Uh, different zams, different colors. We can use regular balloons of any size, any shapes to play water balloon fights. They are much thicker and it makes them harder to pop. I prefer this kind of balloons to play all kind of games, even with water. In this example I fill up both balloons uh, with water, making them about of the same size. Of course we can make it much bigger size. However, for the water balloon fight it really doesn't matter how much water you put in the balloon. You will get wet anyway. I prefer to use less water to make more balloons at the same time. Now I'm going to fill a balloon partially with water. And then I use the air pump to inflate balloon all the way, making it much larger size. All balloons filled with water uh, pops in the same way, making big water splash. However, the balloon filled with water and air makes it splash and boom. It is a sound water bomb. It makes it much more fun to play with. Not every child likes to play water fights. And we can use balloons to play different kind of games. On my blog, on my website fedoid.com, you will find links to descriptions of different games with balloons you can play. Because I'm using regular balloons that have much thicker walls than water balloons, we can use it to play different games with water. Here I have made regular balloon with water. Now I'm going to poke a hole in the balloon. I'm going to do it with a safety pin. You can do it with any sharp pointed tool, a needle or pocket knife. We have to make tiny hole or two, uh, no more than one centimeter away from the nut. The way I hold the balloon, there is a flat space between nut and the rest of the balloon. That's why I poke the hole through the balloon. Hold the balloon by the nozzle, let the balloon suspend in the air. We have made water sprinkle. We can spin the balloon around to make more fun. Little kids, toddlers love this kind of toys. She still can use it uh, for regular uh, water balloons fight. Kids love to use it to sprinkle water over flowers. You can easily stop the water from coming out of the balloon. Just raise the balloon on your open palm, like this. Release the nozzle, that's it. You turn off the sprinkle. It involves very interesting physics that you can use for your kid uh, science project. Now if you pull the balloon for the nozzle, the sprinkle starts on again. The water is coming out of the balloon. In my experience, a balloon of this size, fully filled up with water, may last about 15-20 minutes. Of course, the real time may be different. It all depends on the amount and the size of the holes you made, the pressure you apply and so on. In all my instructions, I use 260s balloons to make balloon sculptures. Don't be surprised I'm using 260s balloons for water balloons fight. Let's make about 20-30 cm long bubble with water. Force some of the water to the very end of the balloon. The water flows inside of the balloon in the same way as air. Here I have made two bubbles. You can adjust size of bubbles the way you like it. To prevent water flow between bubbles, we have to tie knot between each two bubbles. Yes, of course we can make more than two bubbles. Here I already tied the knot to secure the bubble at the very end of the balloon. And now I am splitting the other bubble on two smaller sized bubbles. Let's tie knot between these two bubbles to secure them. It looks like we made the sausages. Or nunchucks if you wish. You may have a lot of fun spinning the balloon over your head. You can also spin alone with the balloon. <laughs> I wouldn't do it here. I'll get dizzy very easily. If you pop the bubble at the end of the balloon, you will still have 
two more bubbles to spin. The way we made it, you can spin even one bubble. It is really fun toy to play with. I highly recommend everyone to give it a try. Those who likes water balloons fight will enjoy it a lot. Now let's get back to the sprinkle balloon. As I mentioned before, this balloon can hold water for quite long time. Eventually the pressure inside of the balloon will get very low and it uh, will stop sprinkle water. You can squeeze the balloon gently in your hand to get some more water out of it. There are many more games we can play with balloons, I will talk about it in future. Remember to subscribe to my video channel to stay updated. Like the video, leave comments, share it with your friends. Have fun and happy water balloons fight!